The U.S. Secretary of State appeared to be in damage control mode on Sunday. We do not have a strategy of regime change in Russia or anywhere else for that matter. As he walked back these nine apparently ad-libbed words. For God's sake, this man cannot remain power. That message delivered to Russia's Vladimir Putin on a world stage just a border away from the war zone in Ukraine. I think uh, the president, the White House, uh, made the point last night that, quite simply, uh, President Putin cannot be empowered to wage war uh, or engage in aggression uh, against Ukraine uh, or anyone else. Joe Biden's European trip last week, intended to keep allies united against Russia, ended with a stop in Poland, where the U.S. president got a close-up look at the Ukrainian refugee crisis, calling Putin He's a butcher. before taking the stage in Warsaw. For God's sake. It was the very last line of Biden's 27-minute speech. It was a horrendous gaffe right at the end of it. I just, I wish he would stay on script. On the American Sunday shows, senior Republican lawmakers criticized the remark. They said derailed an otherwise strong speech. Anytime you say, or even as he did, suggest uh, that uh, the policy was regime change, it's, it's going to cause a huge problem. It plays into the hands of the Russian propagandists and plays into the hands of Vladimir Putin. So it was a mistake. But look, we're in a crisis. We're in a war situation. And so clarity uh, is incredibly important. Biden's comment also prompted a warning from the French president, who has stayed in public contact with Putin. President Emmanuel Macron called for restraint in both words and actions as he cautioned against any escalation. Macron says he prefers to keep talking to Putin and hopes to have another conversation in the coming days. Now, as for the Kremlin's response, a spokesperson told Russian state media it is up to Russians, not Biden, to decide who should be in power in Russia. Karen Siolin, City News.